I went for a fish the other day at a popular spot I hadn't been to in a long time. That bird is eating a blowfish. I was using possibly my favourite soft plastic for Swan River Brim, the Razor Edge Bruce. You can't buy it everywhere, but they sell them in complete Anglo Netherlands. Given the bird's choice of breakfast, I wasn't expecting too much. So it was nice to hook up early. Especially if you're land based, bridges are a great place to fish in winter. They almost always hold brim, Chinese men, and even mulloway. This brim put up a good account of himself, but he was probably mid to high 20s. I was casting into the deeper water that eddied behind the pylons. This fish thought my plastic was a little crab, washed off into the current, and took it on the drop. He had some wicked head shakes for his size, but turns out it was just a big trumpeter. Whoa. You eat this one? Yeah. You want this one? Yeah. Okay. It's a little size here. Yeah, that's, a, that's the biggest one of these I've seen. It's really big, huh? Can you find a bigger one today? A big one? Uh, not bad. Oh, where? Just here? Yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lure. Yeah, it's plastic. Yeah, it's a lure. Yeah. I didn't have long to fish, so I thought I'd check out the other side of the bridge. There I met a great guy who just moved to Perth, so I gave him a quick rundown of how to get into some brim. I'll leave some clips in so you can have a better understanding of what I was doing as well. Cast it out as far as you can, towards the structure. Just let it hit the ground, keep watching your line, and sort of keep a, I don't want to say keep an eye on your rod, but like feel for bites, you'll feel for something. So watch your line, if there's like a tick, Wind in, set the hook, and then you're on. That's small, but very small. It's uh, it's a brim. Oh, is it? Yeah. So basically, what the what the brim will do is they'll be f they'll be like in the little eddies on this side of the bridge, yeah. apart from the one I caught there. But he was small; he doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. For the rest of the session, we were just talking. So I came back the next day. Again, it was nice to hook up early. There's definitely a benefit in showing the fish something they don't see very often, especially in pressured spots like this. Another legal brim. I let him go away from the bridge so he didn't spread the word about the yellow crab. The wind was quite strong, so I lay the line flat on the water so it didn't affect the natural sink of the plastic. I was just doing the usual, three twitches and a pause watching out for any tick in the line.
This brim was about 30 centimeters. I've never kept a brim, but my fishing neighbor over the past few days had really charmed me. You want this one? So I gave this one to him. You have a tape? If you'd like to watch more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe.